guys, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures, and thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, we're going to move into the next segment of the Market Delta Cloud uh, video tutorial series. We're going to move on to showing you how to use the, the Dome, also known as Depth Market. All right, so I'm going to go and bring the platform up. A previous video, we gave you an introduction to the platform, just giving you a basic overview of what's available to you. Now we're going to start uh, dissecting each one of these functions and showing you how to use it. So uh, this is the Dome that you see on the right side here. All right, so this is... There's two ways of placing trades off Market Delta Cloud. There's chart trading, and there's also the dome. So we'll show you, we'll separate the videos out. We're not, we're not going to get into chart trading in this video, but we will show you how to use the dome here. So let's start from top to bottom. First thing first, this is the symbol that you see. So right now we're looking at the September mini S&P. All right, if you, if you want to change the symbol, you can just simply left click over the existing symbol title, and then you'll see add a symbol. And all you will need to do is type in the symbol. So for example, if I want to change this dome to the mini NASDAQ instead, a symbol would be ENQU6. And then what I normally like to do when I, when I type in the symbol, I, I always like to use the auto-populated result. So that helps me identify that I'm selecting the proper symbol. All right, so now I'm just going to left-click on it. And now you can see that the uh, dome has changed to the September mini NASDAQ. All right, so it's as easy as typing in the symbol. Once you left-click over the existing symbol, simply type in the symbol. So CLEN6, that's the July crude oil. Now you can see the dome has changed. All right, so let's go back to EPU6. All right, now if you're wondering, some of the symbols, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, well, why is it EP? Why is it CLE? Why is it ENQ? Uh, CQG data feed, they, their symbol map is a bit different than the traditional exchange symbol, so that might take a while to get used to. Uh, let me try something. I haven't tried this. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't tried using that filter. But uh, from my understanding, we, we have a, there's a symbol guide available on Market Delta website, so you can always check that out as well. But for the most part, once you get a, you know, once you get a handle of what the symbols are, you'll pretty much identify them. Usually this you know, photographic memory will probably kick in and you'll start to realize what the symbols are. Uh, but that is a little strange at first. I just want to give you a heads up on that. But for the most part, once you get the hang of it, it will be easy to remember what the symbols are. All right, so just the main thing is understanding how to change them. So once you have the symbol, click on it, left click on it, and then you're going to type in whatever symbol you want to change it to. So, uh, for example, CA6U6, that's the Canadian dollar. All right, so let's change it back. EPU6, mini S&P. All right, so one thing I like about the, uh, the dome on Market Delta Cloud is you actually have 10 levels on each side. So most, a lot of trading platforms out there will only give you five levels deep. So you can see that this goes down 10 levels. This is what we call the depth of market. So this is telling you there's 30, there's 12 contracts. It's it's moving along pretty quickly here. So it's 43 contracts that are currently working at 2062. Now it's 51. So that's what the depth of market is. All right, now at the top here, you have the high of the day. So 2067 half, you have the overall change for the day. So market's down 3.75 since the open, the low and the open. All right, uh, this right here is your open position display. So right now we're flat. If I just, for example, if I hit buy market, you can see I'm now long one. All right, this right here is your open profit and loss display. So right now we're break even, market's at 62 half. That's exactly where we bought it at. That's why it's currently at zero. There you go. Now you can see you're losing 25 bucks. All right, so that's your open P&L display. All right, so this is open position display. That's open P&L display. Let me uh, flatten out the position real quick. All right, then you have your quantities. So you can select 1, 5, 2,500. These are static. You can't change them, but the quantity value would be here. So if you want to go and just change the value, you can go and do that. Uh, you can use a calculator. You can either C for clear, or if you hit D, that defaults it to a quantity of one. All right, and then you can just add onto it just by clicking the one there. Or you can just clear it, and the default will automatically set it back to one. All right, so you can either do, like I said, now let's say if you have a one there already and you, add, you hit the five, it's going to add five plus one, which would be six. So if you want to do five, then you're just probably going to have to click the one, one, one. So it continues add, adding a, a quantity of one onto the existing quantity. Clear, default, back to one. All right, that's a limit order. That's a stop order. So you'll be using these two buttons. Now, if you want to make sure that the order type is identified and pressed on by looking at which one is dark or gray. So right now, the, the limit order is selected. If I click on stop, now you can see the stop order selected. So it's as simple as making sure that whichever color is darker, that's letting you know that specific order type is selected. Same concept goes uh, for the time and force. So time and force would be day order there. Go till cancel. There's the two available orders that you can use in terms of time and force. Typically, if you're day trading, probably 99% of the trades you'll be using will be day orders. But of course, go till cancel is available. 
Uh, this is the uh, automated trade management. So this is the ability to use bracket orders. We will not demonstrate that in this uh, this particular segment. We'll we'll go ahead and separate that out. So we'll we'll focus specifically on the bracket tools, and we'll just uh, show you how to use that as well. And then you have your buy market, sell market hotkeys. So just pretty much if you want to buy at the market or sell at the market, you're hitting either one of these buttons. Uh, cancel buys, cancel sells, and cancel all orders. So this is in relations to working orders. If you're just canceling buys, you can hit cancel the buys, if you hit sells, cancels out the sells. And now if you have both working buys and sells, if you hit cancel all, that cancels everything. But it does not close out positions. Just be sure to understand that the cancel buttons will only cancel working orders. Now the flatten button, that's 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 the button you're looking for if you need to get out of the position and simultaneously cancel working orders with a single click. So if I get into the position here, there's a bracket order that I set up earlier. Long one, I have a sell limit at 64.75. There's my sell stop at 60.75. I'm long uh, from 62.75. Now watch what happens when I hit the flatten button. It closes out the position at the current market price and simultaneously cancels working orders. So kind of think of it as your bail button. If you need to get out of the market, the market's about to close. You don't have enough margin to carry to, you know, you, you don't want to be on a margin call. Then you can hit that flatten button real quick to, to get you out. And the reverse button, what that does, if you reverse here, watch what happens if I reverse, it will simply reverse the positions. So if I'm long one and I hit the reverse button, it's going to sell two contracts at the current market price, leaving me net short one. So the platform will automatically know how many contracts to allocate uh, in order for you to be the, the exact reversal of what the, the existing position was. So right now I'm short one. If I hit reverse, it just bought two, and now I'm long one. All right, so that's what that reverse button does. All right, now you have your columns, working order columns. Uh, working order will display you know, the working orders. Buy column is where you're clicking to place buy orders. Price column is just the format of the whatever market you're trading will display the price column. And then the sell column is where you click to place the sell orders. All right, at the top right here, you have just pretty much a reset button. That's pretty much if you just want to change the, uh, if you don't want that to be a dome, you want to change it to a different function in the platform, whether it's a watch list or a chart. Uh, tip, we're going to stay away from that for now. And at the bottom, you have the ability to scroll down, and you have the ability to scroll up, and then the middle button just simply centers the dome. So sometimes what will happen is the dome will kind of get a little off-centered, as you can see, and then you're just going to simply hit that little button in the middle to recenter it. All right, so that's pretty much a recap of the dome. Now let's show you how to place trades. All right, so first thing, it's going to be pretty much everything is a left click with your mouse. Uh, the main thing you want to make sure of is you're clicking on the correct order type. So if you want to place a limit order, then just make sure again that this limit order is highlighted darker gray, as you can see. All right, now the next step is do you want to buy or sell? So if you're buying, you're clicking in the blue column, left clicking. If you're selling, you're clicking in the sell column. All right, now so and then next step is identifying the price that you want to you want to place the order at. So let's say I want to place a buy limit at 2060. I'm going to locate the buy column, which I've done. There's a limit order it's selected. I'm going to locate 2060. And you can see as you hover your mouse cursor, there's a little highlight. So it gives you a little visual that you're highlighted over that, that specific price at, in that column. Once you've identified everything is correct, left click with your mouse. And now you can see visually the order is working. W1 represents working one order. The X, if you left click on the X, the order is now canceled. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Very easy to execute trades on the dome. Let's, let's, let's show you an example on the sell side. So if I place a sell transaction, I'm going to left click in the sell column this time. Let's say it's 65. There's our working order. Now one thing I want to let you know to modify the order, there, there is no drag and drop modification on Market Delta Cloud just yet. So, you know, for example, if you're trying to left click on it, just drag and drop and move it, nothing's going to happen. In order, the only way for you to modify the orders is, uh, well, I don't want to say the only way, but basically from here, you, you would, you're going to expand your little panel at the bottom here. I, I usually like to collapse it, you know, when I'm in use, when I'm using the charts, I'm using the watch list, when I'm actually using the platform, I like to collapse that bottom panel because it's going to give me more space within my workspace. But if I need to access it, I can always click this expand button on the bottom right corner and it brings it up. And now I can get right to the orders window and now I can see that working order. All right, so, or, but you know, my apologies. That's, it shows the working order here, but if you go here to the working order column, now you can see I can cancel that order up. All right, so let me do a couple things here. Let me go ahead and just uh, disable this bracket here. I'm going to change this to off. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and place an order here. All right, so now if you notice right now in the working order column or working order tab at the bottom panel, you'll see two buttons here. You have a cancel button, which is a red X, and you have an edit button. All right, so evidently the uh, 
well, I don't want to say, obviously the, the X button is going to cancel the order, but this is the button that you want to click to modify the order. So if I click the modification button there, you can see that it, it, it's pretty obvious. It, it's saying that you are modifying the existing order. It gives you the ticket reference number. And then pretty much it's as simple as just using the, uh, the plus and minus buttons to change either the quantity or the price. And then you can also change the time in force as well, whether it's a day order or go till cancel. All right, so let's just say right now we're working a one lot at 2062 and a quarter on the buy side. So let's say I want to change that to a two lot and I want to change this to 2061 half. All right, everything looks good, good. Now we're going to go ahead and hit that big buy button there. And now you can see the order has been modified. And that's pretty much how you modify orders. Let me show you one more demonstration. So I'm going to place a sell order. I'm going to left click in the sell column next to 2064 even. Order is now working, visible on the dome as well as visible on the working order column here. I'm going to click the edit button. All right, let's change the quantity to two. Let's change this price from 64 to 63 even. So I'm going to hit the minus button. All right, and now we're going to hit the sell button there. All right, and it looks like I just got filled actually. So the market just moved to 63. I got filled. We're short two. If I click on the positions tab here, now I can see my position and you can see on the right side here, uh, these values are starting to move because I am in the, in the position. All right, I hit the flatten button. Position is now closed. And that's pretty much how you execute trades off the Market Delta Cloud Dome. Very easy, very simple to do. If you have any other questions about this, uh, give our help desk a call. We're a 24-hour operation, 312-893-6400, extension 1. That'll transfer you directly to our help desk. In the meantime, uh, definitely stay update, uh, updated on our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in keeping new content loaded for you. Uh, the URL to the website is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP futures. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Happy trading.